Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC to get better FPS and improve performance in God of War Ragnarok dropped recently on PC. This guide will be applicable to both Windows 10 and 11 and make your old low-end PC better. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end and let's get started without wasting any further ado. Alright, step number one is always the essential settings and for that head over to the settings here of your PC and then go down to gaming. Go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off help you to gain extra FPS by disabling unwanted services running in the background. Get back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will ensure less number of processes are running in the background including the applications which will help you to gain extra FPS. Right beneath that you'll find graphic settings, head over to this, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and optimize your GPU for graphic rendering optimally. Once that is done, head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you're in your game folder, you have to select the exe file right over here and then click on add. Head over to options, select high performance and then click on save. Once you're done with that, you can simply close your settings. Step number two is deanimating your windows and this is super essential. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows over here and then click on adjust for best performance. Then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnail instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. This will retain the basic look of your windows but disable all unwanted animations that consumes your CPU resources and will help you to improve your performance by a slight bit. The next step lies in the advanced section over here is setting up your virtual memory correctly. A lot of you guys might not know how to set up your virtual memory correctly and this might lead to FPS drops. For that you have to click on the change button over here and deselect the automatic manage paging file size. Then for the custom size set this thing to 1361 as it is an optimal value right above 1024 MB and over here open up your calculator and then you have to multiply your total RAM you've installed on your PC with 1024 to get it in megabytes. In my case I have 32 GB of RAM on my PC, I simply multiply it with by 1024 and the value that I get over here I have to divide this by 2 and then paste this value in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set and then click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. Next step is the local group policy editor and this is also very essential and it will only work for Windows Pro users. For that, simply search for a local group policy editor and then click on edit local group policy. Once you're in here, click on administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and you'll find let windows apps run in the background. You can simply double click on it and then Click on enabled to enable this policy and then default for all applications set this thing to force deny so it can apply this policy on your applications running in the background. Click on apply, click on close and close this. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then over here select your local disk C, click on create and you can name it GOW just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done you can simply close it and then close system properties. Next step is a God of War Ragnarok FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It has 5 simple folders and here is is how you have to do it. Firstly, open up your CPU priority and you'll find an AMD CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority to help you optimize your CPU's throughput. And then if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Next is the God of War Ragnarok priority. You have to open it up and double click to run the God of War high priority. This will ensure that your game is always using the best settings and maximum resources to render the game to increase your FPS. Next is RAM optimization and as it says, it helps you to free up your memory, optimize it for better performance. Once again, I have 32GB RAM so I need to double click and run this one, but it can be different for you so I have left a ton of presets that you guys can choose from and if you don't like the performance, you can always reset it back to default. Next is the programs in which I have left cache cleaner batch file, you have to right click on this as administrator. And this starts deleting all of your temporary and unwanted files which are not required on your PC. These are the dump files that are created by the applications which were previously in use and they are no longer required. 
You can simply let it run in the background and it will close automatically. Next is the MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Right click and run this as administrator. Once you are here, look for your graphic card and then click on the MSI button in front of it. And for the entropy, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will make sure that your GPU affinity is set to a higher state, allowing it to prioritize power consumption for better performance. Once again, if this leads to any crashing of your PC or black screen of death or blue screen of death, you can simply revert this back to normal by setting it to normal normal or undefined. Once that is done, close it. Last is the unwanted services and this is optional right over here. You can double click on all of them to ensure that you are getting the maximum FPS possible and this is only applicable if you have a potato or very low end PC. For high end PC, you can choose optional services but know what you are doing. If you are using any Bluetooth devices, I recommend you guys not to disable the Bluetooth services but other than that, all of these services are really recommended to disable for better FPS and once again, if you you want to revert them back you can always use this folder to revert all of them back to normal without any consequences once you're done with the fps pack feel free to close it and let's move to the next step that is improving your discs a lot of you guys might not be familiar with optimizing your disk drives and here is how you can do it Windows by default has an option of optimizing your devices. Simply search for defragment and optimize drives. And over here, select your local disk C on which you have installed your Windows. Simply click on the optimize button. And if it is a solid state drive, it will start trimming the SSD and it will help you to remove unutilized partitions which are really unoptimal and it will help you to clean it and if it is a hard disk drive click on analyze and it will start analyzing it and then click on optimize and it will start fragmenting the hard disk drive and ensure that it is running on the maximum throttle this will help you to reduce your input latency and also your rendering time in the game next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together on your keyboard and then task manager will open right in front of you Head over to the startup applications over here and then you'll find all of the applications that you have installed on your PC right away. Over here, you have to look for the applications that you do not use right from the boot of your PC and you can simply click on it and then disable them. This will help you to reduce the amount of processes that are running on your PC right from your boot and this will help you to reduce your boot up time and also helps you to keep less number of services running in the background of your PC since the boot ultimately helping you to gain extra performance in the games. These applications will only be disabled from the startup so it doesn't mean that you will face any performance issues when you are trying to use them while you open them. Once you're done with this step, you can now open up your game and then follow the best in game settings. All right, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. In here, go over to graphics and camera and then make sure that your adapter is your native graphic card. Your monitor should be your native monitor and your display mode should always be set to full screen. Vsync should be turned off. Aspect ratio should be set to auto. Frame rate limit should be turned off as well. Latency reduction should be set to on plus boost or on itself. Frame gen is the most important thing. Make sure to enable this thing. Method should be DLSS or AMD FSR 3.1. If you have an Intel GPU, you can use the Intel ZES. And the quality should be DSAA or FSR 3.1 using the balanced or quality preset. Then for the quality preset, set this thing to custom and then for the texture, set it to high, model, set it to high, anisotropic filter, low, lighting, medium, shadows, reflections, and atmospherics, ambient occlusion, tessellation, all of them should be set to low. And then your screen calibration, you can do it by yourself. Filmic green should be set to 10 and motion blur should be set to 1 or 2. Reduced flashing should be turned on. You guys don't like flashing, but it's okay by me. Don't have to change any uh, camera settings over here. Motion reduction, set all of them to 0. And once you're done with that, you're good to go. So guys, these are the best settings possible to gain the best amount of FPS in the game. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out. We are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your sub would be really appreciated. We have also rolled out channel membership. So if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting it with a lot of perks. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.